Bruh, you could have spent your stimulus check on way better bathroom upgrades. You have no excuse for that ugly shower faucet that you've been staring at every day. Do something about it! Brig and Jane here. I like what I like, and I like reviewing your videos. Today we are gonna learn some lessons with other people's mistakes. Don't make them. I'm here to help. I love how he gives you his full shopping list. This is why I love TikTok creators, because they are efficient. I mean, anything looks cooler when you like throw it down and then all of a sudden it's there. I don't know if the bath mat is necessary in the bottom of the floor, but that throwing editing bit was. Okay, I'm not mad at it. This is what I mean with working with your space. If you can't screw something into the wall, this is a way better option than those frat room caddies that go like on your faucet. He's working with what he has. That is a pro tip for you guys. People think they can't upgrade their showers because they have those horrible little things. Watch, and he gave you the shopping list. No excuses. Yes, 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 yes. No. Was that vinyl he was just putting on there? That's hard, but let's see how this looks. I don't know if that wall treatment is necessary, or at least do the whole wall, but we'll see where he ends up. This guy has style. He's working with what he's got, and then he throws a rug on the top of his toilet. Like, what are you gonna do, stand on there? Like an automatic hand dispenser, but a rug on the toilet. Okay, this is a well-recorded video, but in terms of upgrades, this is cosmetic only and not even done perfectly well. So that sink cover that he's doing is just vinyl over vinyl. That adhesive will eventually wear off, but should not be used unless in the extreme emergency bathroom situations. Replacing your vinyl and not upgrading your hardware? That doesn't make sense to me. Also, complete unnecessary art treatment because it just makes this room look worse because it doesn't go to the wall and it's not framed in and it's not perfect. Another case of over solving your problems. But if you take one thing from this video, there's always one good thing to learn. You can upgrade those tiny little shower heads that are horrible. And he did a great job at that in this video. Bro, you could have spent your stimulus check on way better bathroom upgrades. Other than that, you probably could have saved some money. C plus. And I'm being nice. But our takeaway lesson is you have no excuse for that ugly shower faucet that you've been staring at every day. Do something about it! Oh, Texas. She works for what she, why is she on the roof in flip-flops? The hard room woman right there. Texas girl too. She's on the roof in flip-flops. I commend a girl that knows how to use a table saw. Don't buy that house, it's a piece of crap. No it's not, it's an opportunity waiting to happen. A woman can make a house a home, and she did not need a man to help. I feel like you can hear the Texas accent. And I didn't need a man to help. She definitely drives a pickup truck, for sure. I like this girl. She crazy though, that's her name. That is her chosen TikTok name. She crazy though. I love how the only status shot she shows us is painting. I feel like this was a lot more work than just paint. Always buy the ugliest house on the block. That's how you guarantee return on investment. Color choices are not my favorite, but they work. They're better than what was there. She didn't need a man, but she might've needed a camera guy, camera person. Okay, but what we can learn is don't be afraid to buy that diamond in a rough, good purchase girl. Cabinets going in. Cabinets, cabinet, cabinet step by step. I like how clean this workplace is. I really appreciate a clean work environment. Usually the cleanliness of the work environment lets you know how good the work's gonna be. Case in point, nice gold fixtures going up where they should, beautiful decorative lighting. I don't know about the... Beauty and the Beast clock in the corner, but other than that, this is great execution of built-in shelves. I love the library lights and the gold at the top. Ugh, grandma's house? Grandma's house after she passed. Okay, so they immediately cheated by just brightening up the space and making it white. It's a good cheat, use the cheat. But anytime there's a before and after and it's like dirty and dingy and then they go to bright white, like you could just literally be looking at a white wall and you're like, ooh, 
white. So much better than that other stuff. We never need a textured ceiling, unless you're talking like wood beams, but like that spackly, popcorn-y thing, ugh. I definitely recommend keeping your walls and your ceilings the same color if there's any sort of texture on your ceiling. It'll just help it disappear. Is this even the same house though? Because I feel like this is a corner and the before picture was like the living room of a different house. Where was the stairwell in the first house? Wait, wait, wait. no stairwell. And then there's a stairwell. I'm thinking maybe this isn't the same home. <laughs> Either that or they would extensive with the remodels and this is a top floor and they created a new stairwell between the spaces, but given even the angles in here, the ceilings where the lighting fixtures placed, I'm gonna call it. <clears throat> Doesn't make your after any less brilliant though. Like why did you need to fake the before? I like your cabinet execution, but now I don't trust you. Why are you catfishing me on design? I feel betrayed. Be confident in who you are. Don't try to be something you're not. I'm gonna teach you all how to use teal correctly. It may take time, but I will do it. Yeah, look, the lighting's not even in the same spot. This is not the same house. Don't lie about your befores or I don't trust your afters. I don't know what's going on with the deception in this TikTok video, but I don't appreciate it. It's all lies. How do I even know those are books now? They might just be spines. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Designer Reacts. And don't forget to follow me at Brigan Jane across all your social platforms so you don't end up a victim of somebody else's design leftovers.